the history field and massive interchange of Richmond Station was first officially opened on the 12th of December in 1859. The station was first named Swan Street, the road that the line runs along and eventually crosses. The station became Richmond seven years later on New Year's Day of 1867. Located just southeast of the CBD, it today serves Melbourne Park, Amy Park and the MCG just to name a few. Its 4.165 million passengers annually makes it the ninth busiest station in Melbourne and by size it's the third biggest. It has 10 platforms and serves 8 lines, more than half of Melbourne's 15. And now, let's head to the station. I'm here today because this station has a load of history, including a crazy four rebuilds. Now, Richmond Station was not actually the first station on this site. On the 8th of February in 1859, when the line from Princess Bridge was extended, Punt Road Station opened. So Punt Road Station was located on the other side of Punt Road to the current Richmond Station and was open for 10 months. The station was closed on the 12th of December in 1859 and replaced or rebuilt by Swan Street Station. So Richmond Station is up there and right here along the road would have been the site of Punt Road Station. So if you're ever visiting the MCG Punt Road Station will be on the right. The only evidence of the station's existence is on this station map with the station's name. Once upon a time, Richmond Station never served the MCG or any of the sporting grounds it now does. Botanical Garden Station opened on the 3rd of February in 1859, five days before Punt Road. The station served a little MCG and the Botanical Gardens, which were where the tennis is today. The station closed in 1963 after four years in service and supposedly remained abandoned for 30 years. Finally, the station was demolished and today, this hump bridge is situated on the site of the old station. So Richmond Station is over there and just over the hump bridge this is where the site of the station would have been. There is zero evidence of the station today and the only evidence of its existence is our trusty old map. Anyway, enough of botanical gardens, time for some cool Richmond history. There are only very special times when you have no trains at the station. <laughs> The original station had a measly two platforms and it quickly became obvious that that was not going to be enough. Our third station opened in 1885 and was elevated to remove the Swan Street level crossing. With Swan Street just there, you can see from this photo that tracks would have just run along this wall on the original alignment. An impressive bridge carried six tracks over Swan Street into the six new platforms. This station served Melbourne for over 60 years, but just like the first one, it just wasn't enough. The current station was first brought forward in 1940 by the Ashworth Improvement Plan as the station was deteriorating at a rapid pace. World War II stopped progress, however, construction did start in July of 1956. The new station building? was set to be built on two levels and situated on the other side of the tracks to the older station building. A mere three months into construction in September of 1958 and the first platform skeletons emerge with the subway ramps being at the start of them. Now, if you're not a user of the station, the plan was to have the old six platform station and the station building demolished in stages whilst the brand new 10 platform station 200 metres west of the old one and over Punt Road was built over two to three years. This will also create a better bridge over Swan Street and a bigger station building to the south. And the first new station platforms were opened on November 30 of 1958. And now for the before and after shots. Taken a year after construction began in August of 1959, it shows 
the old station building to the right, the old bridge and the last of the old platforms. And in contrast, the new station building can be seen to the left, the first two out of the five new bridges and some of the new platforms and an old MCG. Aha! 18 months later, in February of 1961, you can see all of the old station is gone. Bridge, platforms and buildings demolished for good. The new station is taken over with all five truss bridges up and the station nearing completion with eight of the eventual ten lines up and running. I just want to say thank you very much to Graham who has very kindly given me some of his old VR books newsletters and some really cool other things. They've been such a joy to read and they've helped so much with making my videos a lot better. So thank you again. And now that we have a new station, let's head back to Richmond. It was a big thing for the city, being one of the biggest projects they'd seen in years with the massive bridge over Swanson Street and 10 new platforms. Today, the station has three passenger subways. The Eastern subway being the main entrance the middle subway being an interchange between platforms and the western subway leads to special event exits and entries which are only opened for the MCG, Amy Park and Melbourne Park events. The station buildings have not changed much in the 60 years and I've always thought the station entrance has been a little bit discreet. Fully sheltered platforms were only added in the past couple of years and in 2025 Pakenham and Cranbourne lines will not stop at the station and instead go through the metro tunnel. Me personally, I've been to this station for years to go to the footy, so it's really good to learn a little bit about the history of this station and I hope you learn something too. Anyway, time for the outro. Thank you guys for watching another video. Like and subscribe if you did enjoy and as always, let me know down below of any video suggestions or feedback. This has been The Tray Man and until next time, goodbye.